Hey everyone, this is a review of the REI Co-op Drypoint GTX jacket. I purchased this jacket for a four day trip to Iceland where I knew there was going to be some pretty extreme and unpredictable weather. Um, in short, I don't know if you can get a better bang for your buck with regard to a Gore-Tex jacket. First thing first, with regard to the sizing of the jacket, I would recommend going with the size that is uh, true to fit, meaning whatever size you normally wear in your standard clothing, whether it's a small, medium, or large, I would probably go with that. On my trip, I ended up going with a medium because that's what I usually wear. And after I got that jacket, when I was in Iceland, my typical gear that I had involved a short sleeve base layer, a long sleeve mid layer on top, a 750 down jacket, and a Fjall Raven Skog Skog jacket, and then my REI Co-op Dry Point jacket on top of that. And there was not an issue with regard to how it fit, or the mobility, or the tightness, or anything to be, uh, to be exact. The fitting actually works really, really well because the jacket compared to all the other REI Gore-Tex jackets or even other Gore-Tex jackets like Arcteryx and Mammoth. Um, in relation to those, this particular jacket definitely has a little bit more space across the chest. Um, so if you were to move left and right laterally and put your arms up and down, there definitely is a bit more mobility um, with this jacket that you don't get from other jackets. And it's a little bit hard to explain, but if you've ever tried multiple jackets on back to back, um, you can kind of tell where it's tight and where it's not. This particular jacket was very um, fitting and it felt really, really good no matter how many layers I put on. And there was no restriction to any mobility or I didn't feel any issues when I was taking off or putting on a backpack, which was really nice. Um, also, the great thing about this jacket is that the tail of this jacket tends to be a little bit longer uh, than the front, which is nice because um, you know, you don't have an issue with the backside of your jacket riding up. Um, that often happens when you wear other jackets that are not designed like this. So with regard to sizing, I would say that um, the true to size fits perfectly. You can layer underneath it. You, aren't, you won't have any issues um, adding as many layers as you need. And it stays completely comfortable uh, as you have it on, no matter how many layers you have. Moving on to performance. As you can see in this video that I have from my trip to Iceland, um, the jacket was put through the ringer. I mean, we went to one of these hikes and I can't even pronounce the name of the place, but as you can see, there's a huge waterfall where we actually go behind the waterfall. And in this particular clip, I'm actually standing right next to the waterfall. Um, I don't know if anyone can tell, but the amount of rain and wind that is coming off that waterfall is pretty pretty strong uh, it's really kind of hard to put into words but standing there with my jacket um, not a drop of water got through uh, and I was standing there for a little while and you know spent a lot of time behind that waterfall and never had any issues with anything under my jacket uh, getting wet so I definitely give it a thumbs up there none of the seams uh, came loose or none of the seams let water in um, I stayed dry on pretty much any type of adventure that I went through that involved a lot of water, a lot of rain, a lot of wind, um, and this jacket held up perfectly on everything that we did. Now one thing that I did not really pay a whole lot of attention to when I was looking through rain jackets was the ability for it to cut the wind. Um, I know a lot of people um, think of rain jackets and think of the ability of the jacket to keep you warm and to uh, have mobility and breathability but something that I learned on the trip um, was that the ability of a waterproof jacket to cut the wind is really really important now as you can tell in the clip that I have right now I left the volume up a little bit so you can have an idea of just how much wind there was there had to have been winds going from 20 to 35 miles an hour at point uh, at points, um, it was just so windy and so bad that if you did not have a jacket on that could um, cut the wind, some of the some of the wind would just go right through the layers. No matter how many layers you would have, you would just feel that coldness to your bones. And this REI uh, GTX jacket was able to kind of cut through all of that wind, no matter how high it was, and it retained a lot of body heat. Um, and I never felt 
cold when I had it on because of that. And that's something that I think everyone should consider when looking at rain jackets uh, because it's underlooked but also a very important factor. All in all, I think the jacket is amazing and I don't know that you can really get a better jacket for this price point. I certainly haven't tried on every single jacket on the market, but from all the hours of research that I've done and after this trip, um, can't complain. This is uh, definitely the best jacket that I feel like I could have bought. If you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, have a good one and safe hiking.